any of us know that we're not gender normal. There's a range of identities within transgender identities. I have known since I was pretty young that, you know, I was essentially female, but wasn't born that way. You know, the transgender people notice. It's not one of those things you can be kind of subtle about. You can't really be selectively out about it, at least during the time you're transitioning. I tell people it's an expensive hobby. I grew up in a time in suburban Pennsylvania where there really wasn't any information, there wasn't any knowledge around transgender, transsexual people. And in order to survive, I learned to act like a boy and to live that way. At, at one point, I got married to a woman. Um, I have a daughter, you know, a granddaughter up in Seattle. The marriage didn't last real long, about seven years. I guess that's reasonably long. In my life, that's long. At about the point where my daughter was ready to move out on her own, I decided it was time to start to transition. I could not sit with this any longer and just kind of keep shoving it down. And an old friend of mine who had been a volunteer and a nurse at the clinic had gone back to medical school and become a doctor. She fit in my insurance plan. I went and talked to her and I came out to her and I told her that I wanted a transition. I asked her if she would help. And she said that she would be honored, that I'd been a hero of hers back years before as an activist and she was delighted to work with me in the process. Most of us do not know what it's like to be at home with our gender. It's not something that we have that sort of unconscious comfort with. We're always aware, we're always thinking about it, we're always aware of gender and how it plays out in the world. Part of the journey that's really poignant and difficult and challenging for all of us is the coming out process. Most transsexuals lose people when we come out. We lose family, we lose some friends, we may lose jobs. We lose people because I can't deal with this. And my parents had predictably decided that they couldn't talk to me after I came out to them. And that continued on and, and has to this day. Um, and that's been 10 years. My dad passed away this fall. I was most concerned about my daughter. Um, my daughter was a young teen, was 17, I think, at the time when I really communicated it to her. And I started by writing to her so that she would kind of be able to digest it. And then I followed it up with a phone call. And I asked her if she got my letters, and she said, yeah. And I said, well, so what do you think about that? And she said, well, duh. I said, what do you mean, well, duh? She said, well, I've known that about you since I was little. I don't know, it took you so long to tell me. I said, really? She said, oh, yeah, I love that secret. Curiously, about six months after I shared that with her, she called me up one day and she said, guess what? I said, what? She said, I have a girlfriend. I said, what do you mean, a girlfriend? She said, you know, girlfriend. I said, somebody who's sleeping with? She said, yeah. I said, cool, so we can go on Jerry Springer as father and daughter lesbians. <laughs> we love each other a bunch, and, and while she's in Seattle and I'm here, um, there's not much we can't say to each other. It's a great relationship, and I'm, I'm, I'm just blessed to have her in my life. Now, when I transitioned, I was single, and the first person I dated for a little bit was a very butch lesbian. In a couple of months, she said to me one day, she said, you know, I don't think you're quite femme enough for me. So the next person I dated was somebody who I considered sort of ultra femme. She and we dated for a little while. And her response at some point was, I don't think you're butch enough for me. Currently I'm single. So if anybody's watching this, give me a call. What gets people harassed, difficulties, problems, are not who people sleep with, but how people appear in the world. And what generally pushes buttons in the world is gender expression. Um, gender expression is something much broader than gender identity. 
So gender expression is a piece that I think we have added to the understanding of the LGBT community and it's something that I hope all people carry away a little bit with some understanding.